If you have at least 1,000 in savings, congratulations. You are doing better than over 60% of Americans. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanna share with you five signs that you're actually doing well financially, or at least better than most. You see, there are many people who are actually making the right decisions financially, but they may feel like they're not doing enough. So my hope is that by the end of this video, you'll leave inspired to keep taking small steps in the right direction, which can then lead to a great reward. For me, that reward is generational wealth for my children and my future grandchildren. That being said, let's get into it. Number one is you look or not because you have no other option, but because you understand that your money could do a lot more for you and go a lot further than if you wasted it on depreciating assets. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't have to look like you're homeless, but the reality is that most people who look like money don't actually have any money. Yet the ones who have real wealth don't actually look like it. And Number two is you practice delayed gratification, which in essence means that decisions you make today are with the future in mind. There are so many people who are conditioned by this YOLO mentality, which then causes them to live every day like it's their last. And so due to this, they impulse buy with no thought about their tomorrow. So if you practice delayed gratification, it shows that you are wise enough to plan ahead and not make others rich while giving yourself and your family the short end of the stick. This leads me to number three. You have a clear budget plan or you're actively working towards starting one. If you're like me, you didn't grow up in a household where finances were talked about. You also didn't learn anything about money management all throughout high school or college. However, through your own research, you came to understand that budgeting is foundational when trying to build and maintain wealth. With that, it's important to note that you cannot build wealth by budgeting alone. Budgeting helps you to gain control of your finances and to manage what you already have so that you can do the things that you enjoy guilt-free and without accumulating bad debt. Now, if your goal is to build wealth, then you must invest. That's the only proven way, okay? One of the ways that you can invest is by trading stocks and options. And if you're interested in learning more, check out the free budgeting and trading webinars as well as additional offers from myself and my husband in the description below. That being said, number four is you make an effort to increase your financial literacy by reading books, watching YouTube videos like this one, and or investing in courses or programs that will help you to move the needle in the haystack and to actually elevate your financial situation. Some books that have personally helped me and continue to help me develop a wealth mindset. Number one, the Bible. Most people think that the Bible is just a religious book, but it's not. The Bible is a book about the kingdom of God and it outlines and illustrates the principles that govern all of creation and how we as humans are supposed to live our lives. This includes our dealings with money. That's how to get it, how to give it, how to manage and how to invest it, right? Etc. So if you want to learn more about what the Bible says, particularly in the area of money and living a life of overall abundance, then I want to recommend that you search the following two channels on YouTube. And that is Dr. Miles Monroe and the other would be Myron Golden. I'll also leave a link in the description below for free. A few other suggestions to start with would be Rich Dad, Poor Dad and Increase Your Financial IQ by Robert Kiyosaki, as well as Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Some of these books can be accessed for free on YouTube, but if you prefer the hard copy like me so that you're able to take notes and really retain the information, then I'll leave links to the books in the description below. Remember, don't just read the information, but take action on it. Speaking of reading more financial books, anytime that I offer or suggest books to people, they oftentimes come back with 
comprehension questions and uh, wanting to know how they could take certain things that were mentioned and apply it to their own lives. And so for this reason, I am starting a virtual financial literacy book club for those looking to connect in a community of other people who are focused on building generational wealth for their family, but they prefer to do so in a group that will support and hold them accountable. If that's you, be sure to click the pre-registration link below so that you can secure your spot as seats will be limited to provide a more intimate setting of learning and growing together. Number five, you have an emergency fund. Listen, beyond the $1,000 that most Americans don't have saved, an emergency fund is anywhere between three to 12 months of your living expenses that you have set aside untouched. I personally recommend that if you have a career like you're a teacher, a doctor, police officer, something that you know it is secure and you, well, no real job is secure, but you know that if you got fired one place, you can go and get another one because you have your degree. Um, if that is the case, I recommend at least three months of living expenses saved up. Now, if you are working a regular job and you know that it's not as secured as someone who may have a degree and you know that you could get laid off or you could get fired at any point, you may want to have closer to six to 12 months of emergency funds saved up because it's not a matter of if an emergency will happen, car breakdown, fire, whatever the case may be. It's when it happens, will you be prepared to cover the cost without going into debt? So there you have it. These are the five signs that you are doing well financially or at least above the average person in America. That said, let's level up together by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. That being said, thank you for watching. Be blessed in Jesus name.